YouTube, welcome back to Louis Bambooey. We're fishing a brand new mark today, uh, we're fishing Poopay, uh, just off Wiverency, South Wiverency that is. Uh, we're a bit early uh, for fishing. I'm in a spot, which I don't know if it's good or not, but I'm sat down. I haven't set up her out yet, because I ain't got no waders or anything, so there's a bit of an island in front and I can't cast that far. So I'll wait till it comes to the island before I start fishing. Uh, I believe it's about five hours till high tide and as you've seen it is a 6.7 meter tide according to my app so I don't know if that's from Wimsey Lighthouse but it's about 6.7 meter tide obviously I'll work that out with feet at the beginning so yeah I, I should be fishing with two rods today uh, obviously, we are hunting for the cod. I haven't caught one yet. Last episode or last video, you see the cod on the channel, but it wasn't mine, it was Jordan's. But hopefully, I'll get one myself today. At this brand new mark, uh, the famous poop pipe. So, I can't be bad. There's a fair few anglers already down. There is three guys fishing already to our right. They're on a bit of a sandbar, so they can get out. And then there's a guy that's turned up and set up further up the uh, hill. So, but that's what I'll be doing in a minute. I'll get up, set up ready to go. And then I'll walk down, cast out, etc, etc. But if I set at the bottom and talk to us to the lead. What I'll do, I'll do a quick panoramic view, just so you can see where we am and see what's going on. So, back in a sec. We'll do slowly go around. There we go. So yeah, let me straighten you back up. Straighten you back up. Yeah, well, little, little view. Uh, little view, little view. But yeah, I uh, hope you're all doing well. Bit of a long session, I just wanted to get out. I've been quite busy this week, I've been ill. Helped my mum move yesterday. I'm exhausted, but I wanted to get out, sit by the water. So that's why I'm in no rush. It's a nice chilled out session. Um, yeah, I will, like I said, I'll be fishing with two rods. Bit wise, we have got uh, Bit of squid, bit of mackerel, bit of crab, bit of prawn, and some black lug worm. So I'll show you baiting up them in the well, what I crack on that is. I'll show you baiting up them. See the guys are coming off the sandbar now. It's getting filled up, so dirty fish there for about an hour. So yeah, um, I am on my own today. Um, did ask Jordan to see if he wanted to come out, but because it's a new mark, he said no, he didn't want to call down cliffs, but the cliffs aren't too bad. So, definitely do this mark again in the future, I think. Especially now I've been during the day. That was the only issue I've not been during the day. I've fished left of me, like in the little rock where all the big rocks are. I fished there, caught my big ray there. So, and apparently this fish is well this side as well. Must be with all the anglers that are already here. Oh yeah, it's going to be a chilled session. Would like to say thank you for absolutely everybody that has subscribed. Uh, we hit 500 before Christmas, so I'm over the moon for the channel. Uh, really am. Thank you for everyone that subscribed, that stuck with it. With the highs and the lows, the blanks and the um, loads of fish. To the adventures in Scotland, to Wales and on the Olderness Coast and the Humber. Yeah, thank you for everyone that subscribed. If you're not subscribed, I'll leave a subscribe. Next milestone's a thousand, but I won't be pushing that. That'll happen when it happens. Obviously, I've just buzzed on 500 before Christmas. So yeah, absolutely ecstatic about that. That's all I'll say about that anyway. Over the moon, so I'd like to say thank you. It's a lovely day. Gotta sleep with the noise. Oh, it's a lovely day. 
love with that. One quick question for you guys. On Facebook, everyone talks about middle beaches, northern beaches and southern beaches on the Olderness Coast. If you're from the Olderness Coast, which beach is what? <laughs> to me, Easington and Kildsea is the southern. Wyvern Sea is like the middle and then Hornsea, Alborough, Atwick is the north side. Is that right or am I wrong? Oh, it's Wyvern Sea Southern and then it further up is like Alborough, Hornsea, that's middle and then Bridlington's northern. Comment below, let me know, so I don't have a clue. So yeah, this intro has gone on for six minutes. So what I'll do, I'll sure up and I'll get back to you when I've all set up. Here too. Let's, let's raise you up a bit. Right. Is that a bit? Oh god, a bit, a bit tired, not that all. Right. We've just thrown out a squid bait, half a squid. And black log. What I've done there, as you've seen, I don't know if you did see actually, they've uh, wrapped it up uh, on a pattern oster egg and I've thrown it out as far as I can. It's probably going to get snagged up. So, all I have done is put a rod bottle on the bottom of it. So, if it does get snagged up while it's out there, as the tide's coming in. Then hopefully I can get the rig back and just lose the weight. Or oh, if I get a fish on, I get the fish back and just lose the weight. So yeah. First bait is out there. What I am going to do is just fish with one rod for the first hour or so. And then go from there. The other rod is nearly set up. I just need to rig up a bait and put it on. So I'll do that and then I'll interchange each rod for now. Till it gets up a bit further. So it's more fishable for two rods at the minute is I can't really fish for two. Where I'm from, as you see at the beginning, there's loads of snags, load of rocks, so chances are I'm gonna get caught up in them as the tad's coming in. Because if you can see the breakers are a bit far back, I ain't got waders. I don't own a pair of waders. The one I'm wearing at the minute will just get drenched and I'll get soaked. So yeah, needs must. Do what I can in it, do what I can. 
if I manage to settle at the bottom, uh, the wave like bypass my uh, brick. I don't know what's tagged up, and I catch a cod. But uh, obviously, that is the target species a cod. I want a cod. I want to take one arm. Every time I go fishing, I keep telling the uh, wife that I'm going to bring home tea. So far, I haven't. <laughs> she gets really disappointed, so see what happens in it, see what happens. If I don't catch one, yeah, I'm glad to be out. But obviously, I do want that cod now. Keep seeing on Facebook, YouTube, my mate, everyone's getting a but me. Let me know if you've caught one yet. Let me know how many you've caught, if you've caught multiple. I'll be below. See what happens in it. So what I'll do, I'll leave you on the rod for a couple of minutes and then I'll cut you off and then just before I reel that in, I'll put you back on the rod. Okay?
Good job. This one's been out about half an hour, so I'll do. I'll bring it in. No bit on that whatsoever. So let's get this other rod out.
Hey, it's a YouTube. So I've just put a pulley out, pulley panel, and I've got a pattern ostro as well. Uh, both of them on a crab and squid. So it's the same crab that I caught at Paul. So I'll leave a <coughs> link at the top or here, wherever it is, somewhere along here. Uh, go watch that, where I caught him in the drop net. Yeah, so we're using that bait. Uh, the previous bait I've just pulled back in on the pattern oster was gone. The elastic was there, but the bait was gone. So unless I didn't bait it down properly, it was being pecked at. So either by crabs or a little whiting, or something small. So I don't know if that's a good sign or not. But as I've just thrown out crabs there, let's see if we get anything. The tide's nicely coming in now. So I can't complain really. There's a fair few more anglers out. There's one, two, three, four, five. It's all right. And then there's one, two, three, to all left, which is more near the rocks. Out with. So yeah, um, quite happy with that really. I see we're still a little, like sort of settling in the surf. So I've got a few rotten bottoms out. But hopefully I get like a bass that way. Never know, dear, you never know. Fingers crossed, like. Oh, fish, I at least, any fish. Obviously, you know what I want, you know what I'm after, you know what I'm putting for. Or fishing for. Yeah, both rods are out now. So, not messing. I think there's about four hours left till high tide. Let's, think, let's, let's hope I held bottom. Big tad, biggish anyway. So what I'll do, I'll point you to the rods and I will speak to you soon. I won't even, I won't even cut, I'll just swing you around. Look at that. YouTube. I want to hold it. So, nice little squid and black bait. We're going to put the panel on. So, we 
down, turn off, so wrap it a few times, get it nicely through. Don't know if you'll be able to see this label. Pull it tight. Cod bit right there. That's got the seven on.
Let's see if it moves across. What I'm going to do now, though, Joe, I'm going to show you how I built up a rig. Uh, this is a. I don't know what rig it is. I'll show you when I get there anyway. Alright, so back in a minute. Right, you Joe. I'm going to show you how I'm currently baiting up. Right, so I've got this little spoon tool thing. Don't know if you can see this. Uh, there they are. Right. Here's my pulley. I'm going to slowly keep going up and down, so I'll put the hook down there. And then you get a bit of squid. And then you place that on. Right, nicely. What I like to do, get a bit of elastic. Give it a couple of lashings, just with the squid on. Just so you know you've got it in the right position. Only a couple, like I say, not fancy. Not tight. And then I'm going to put some prawns on this one. So I'm going to just put one prawn. Close shrimp from the umber, these are. Two prawns in the squid. Let's get you there. Hopefully you can see this. Move that hook. And then slowly start wrapping it up. Just like that. Look at that. Don't normally use this tool, so I thought I'd give this tool a go today. Can't help, can it? Normally I just use the homemade baiting needles that I've got. But if I'll give this a go. Where did it do? Some nice juices flying out of this. Nice wrap up. So what I'm going to do is put my... I see it on TikTok. I'm going to wrap it like that, then slide it through, and then pull down, so it's like a little knot, and then rip it off, drops a good one, and then to get it off, all you do, my fingers, and just slide it off like that. Look at that, well presented bit that is. And then get your pen out, lovely jubbly this, nice pen out. So I'm going to put the pen out at the bottom of this side like this. So I do a couple of wraps around and then hook it. Like that. Hook it through the squid, through the prawns, like that. And then fingers crossed that stays on. Make sure it's nice and tight. Look at that. So if it comes from the back, nicely showing. If it comes from the front, nicely showing. Hopefully you've watched that. Happy about that? Brilliant. Right, well done, I'll get you back to the rods. Right, I'll show you the bit I've just done. So this is the uh, lovely bit. Nice juicy cod bit. So what I'll do, I'll go wheat link. I don't know if I need this on this beach, but if I try it, put it through some German eye. You hook it through, you poke it through the little. Come on, don't mess up now. Tidy through the hole. So when the water hits down, the water releases that. Releases that, so it flips out. Yep. And then lock or lock these in. Push the bird on, bend them a bit. Probably need to bend a little bit more like that. Get the proper bend. Bear with me. Proper bend. There we go. That's a bit better. So yeah, so that's like that. Got my pulley. So what I'll do, I'll get this, this link. There's the baiting thing, baiting clip, whatever you want to call it, link. Put it down on there. Pull it too. Just wipes off. Ugh. Probably have had no bites if you're wondering. So yeah, so yeah, on the pulley. So if it hits the water, let the water down like that. Boom, a little release. That's my pulley.
hopefully. Nice and streamlined, hopefully. Best prawn and squid. Can't go wrong. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Fingers crossed, this is going to get me a lovely cod. The guys behind us have just caught a fish. So, yeah. So, what I'll do, I'll stick you on this rod like that so you can see him. There we go. Fingers crossed, we get a fish.
I had I think I had a fish on then I didn't camera it but I had a fish on it was very heavy anyway um, but what happened the um, my weight snapped so let's all snagged however I brought somebody else's rigging show you in a minute so yeah I brought somebody else's rigging so my rig's in the mix of that so as you see the rod bottom worked that snapped weak link that snapped off but in the meantime I grabbed in all this all this lad which has been brighted and I got myself a nice uh, five ounce lad so can't be bad lost the green getting the yellow can't be bad eh? so what I'll do I'll sort this out and I'll get back to you soon
Right. So YouTube. Oh, it's a bit loud. Here we go. Right, so YouTube. We are done. We are done indeed. Uh, whew, back in the car. Right. Wait a it. Do not. I repeat, do not forget the lights during winter time. I could not see a bloody thing. Absolute pitch black. I managed to stay till seven o'clock, but God, that was hard going. I couldn't see bites, I couldn't see knocks, I couldn't see the waves, I couldn't see nothing. So yeah, they were blanked, fortunately. Um, oh, boiler, yeah, I say we're blanked. Oh, I'm stopping this with these windows. We're blanked. Like I say, we're blanked. Oh, that's a shame. Good, lovely venue. Definitely for share again. Nice, nice beach. Nice beach. Nice getting out. Uh, happy with that. But yeah, uh, I don't know. There's five cod that came off this beach today while I was there. A guy got three next to me, and the guy to the left got um, to the right got three. The guy to the left got two. I got none. <laughs> so, but time will come. But time will come. If you enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to leave a like, uh, subscribe, uh, to catch the next journey. Uh, yeah, like I say, we we'll smash 500. Uh, thank you for everyone that has subscribed. Really do appreciate it. Uh, I'll probably fix Jumba next time, I think, maybe. I don't know yet. I don't know. I decided. The hunt for COD continues. And I will see you in the next adventure. Cheerio! Boop!